This diver propulsion vehicle is a Soviet constructed Pro D5 made in November 1970. It was shipped to me in its original crate, total weight 300 pounds. Here it is next to an aluminum 80 tank for size comparison. Aft end ports used for power cables and terminal access, here visible. Seven batteries were included, no electrolyte inside. Hatch to the on off switch, visible here in the center. Physical switch close up, and then the obverse inside view. Motor with cover removed in like new condition. Sanding and prepping for paint as it was only in fair shape. I didn't sand down to the bare metal. Three coats of heavy duty marine paint were sprayed on. Motor was painted separately due to its weight and need to hang the unit up for best application. Here it is partially reassembled. Enersys 12 volt 35 amp hour sealed lead acid batteries were installed. I rewired the Pro D5 and the batteries are in parallel. So 70 amp hours total, 12 volts. At first I used plywood brackets to fasten the batteries on the existing tray, then constructed acrylic ones to replace them. PVC was used to hold lead shot for ballast, some seen here clamped in the aft section. Front view with the PVC lead and acrylic pieces in the front of the batteries. After pool testing I opted for surrounding the batteries with acrylic to prevent any chance of a short. I designed a handlebar for up front using existing brackets for the shoulder clips and center shaft for lights. Cam bands, rubber mat, and D-rings to clip on the stage bottle straps to haul around the DP topside were installed. Later two more small 1-inch D-rings were clamped on just behind the bracket for the motor. After pull testing I deemed it necessary to continue using the uh, shoulder clips so brackets were welded on. Video here is of the fourth pool test with successful trimming. It is just slightly positive in buoyancy. This is a medium sized pool so we couldn't get it up to full speed at any time because of the tight cornering. Handlebar was definitely needed I feel for this tight cornering and handling. High torque but the speed I would guess would be on par with a modern scooter such as a Submerge or a Gavin. This does not have the ability for tight cornering uh, as the tow scooters do. It has a lot of mass and weighs out of water about 175 pounds. The same weight as uh, yours truly riding the thing. It has an 8 inch diameter 4 bladed propeller operating at one speed, full power. Practice will make it easier to handle and the diver more streamlined as it is disconcerting to begin with as one's calves are right next to the propeller and the propeller suction and wash. These DV, DPVs were intended for Russian Special Forces or Red Seals. It is reported that these were mounted on fleet submarines of that era. Red Seals would airlock out of the sub, then use these scooters for their missions, and then remount them on the submarines. Evidently they can handle great depth. Other notes. I used Anderson Power Pole 75 amp rated connectors during the rewiring. The Russians used 4 gauge wire and I had to find power pole connectors for 4 gauge as well. I used 10 gauge wire where I could. Batteries are easily charged separately using these connectors as the charger has a similar type. All the modifications I have done can easily be removed as seen in the beginning and end photo of the unit on the red velvet. As I understand this is the only working Pro D5 in the West. The other is reported to be in upstate New York but it is not functioning. A later model named the Proton was devised but this author has no information about it. 